Open Heavens on the Go, Friday, November 27th, 2020. Topic, Let God Take the Lead. Memory Verse, Genesis 13, 11. Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves the one from other. Genesis 13, 11. Bible reading. Genesis 14, 8 to 16. And there went out the king of Sodom, and the king of Gomorrah, and the king of Adma, and the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, the same is Zohar. And they joined battle with them in the vale of Sidim, with Chedorlaomer, the king of Elam, and with Tida, king of nations, and Amraphel, king of Shina, and Ariok, king of Elasa, four kings with five. And the vale of Sidim was full of slime pits, and the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled and fell there. And they that remained fled to the mountain, and they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all their victuals, and went their way. And they took Lot, Abraham's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. And there came one that had escaped, and told Abraham the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plain of Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Eshcol, and brother of Anna, and these were confederate with Abram. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. And he divided himself against them, he and his servants, by night, and smote them, and pursued them unto Hoba, which is on the left hand of Damascus. And he brought back all the goods, and also brought again his brother Lot, and his goods, and the women also, and the people. The message. I may not have achieved as much success and impact as I have today, if I had traveled to a developed country as I wanted to when I was younger. I had applied for a Commonwealth Scholarship Program abroad for my master's. On the day of the interview in the University of Lagos, Unilag, the members of the panel asked me questions so simple that I wondered if they knew I was an honor student of mathematics. I was confident I had passed the interview until a member of the panel who had been dozing all along woke and asked, where is Entebbe? I responded, pardon me, I'm here for a mathematics interview, not geography. Unknown to me, he was the chairman of the committee. Everyone laughed in such a way that made me realize I would not be getting the scholarship. When I got out of the interview hall, I ran into one of my lecturers from my alma mater, who now worked in Unilag. We exchanged pleasantries, and I told him why I had come to Unilag. He said to me, no, you don't need to go abroad. I know your stuff. I will supervise you here for your postgraduate studies. Thus, I became a postgraduate student at Unilag, eventually got an invitation to attend a service at the redeemed Christian Church of God, encountered Christ, became born again, and today the Lord has made me the general overseer of the church. Things may be tough now where God wants you to stay. But if you trust and obey him, 
your tomorrow will be all right. When Lot had the chance to choose where he would stay, he did not bother asking God. He just went straight for the seemingly better option. Little did he know he was going into a condemned city. At the end of the day, we see that Abraham, who stayed put, became far greater than Lot. In Genesis 14, 14 to 16, when Lot was kidnapped because he did not have divine protection, Abraham and his men had to fight and defeat four armies to rescue him. In the midst of all the complaints and struggles in developing countries, some people are still getting huge breakthroughs and fulfilling their destinies. You don't have to tell lies and keep running from the police to become great in life. Don't compromise your eternity for a journey God did not send you on. Let God lead you. Prayer point. Father, don't let me abandon your plans for my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bible reading in one year. Acts 18 to 19. Him for today. All to Jesus I surrender. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.